As for me, about 15 years ago, when I first started this atomy business, I gave a thought on what time is and how uh, can we um, measure this and reorganize this and utilize it in the best way. So I called this the time engineering and gave lectures about it. And that lecture, well, when I did that lecture, this um, master Im Byung-gu was with me. I think I shouldn't, I don't have to give a give the lecture, but I think it would be better to see the lecture that I gave at that time. So let's play the video. So what is time? What is time? Time is money. So if time passes, does um, do you have money in your pocket? Some people just keep on get interesting after time passes. Time is what it is. Well, Aristoteles said that um, it's something that you can you think that you can grasp, but it cannot be clearly uh, described through words. So it's poetry. You guys know that you're not at Aristotle's uh, level. So I think I know something. I just can't explain it. So Aristotle said that Aristotle said that now we're in Newton's time. We go through the past present and flow into the future that's how that's the definition of Newton do you think it's been clear yeah it uh, from the past flows to the present and to the future and now we have the uh, modern physics uh, father Einstein he said that past present the value of the present flows into the future and that's sequel it's jumbled so the sun that we're looking at from the earth from well from the sun that we're looking at on earth and the sun that we're looking at on earth is well when we see it from earth is seen after 8 minutes in the past so the sun that we're looking at now is 8 minutes in the future when we're looking at uh, from uh, the earth so it starts and there is a light that comes from the past so four minutes from the past and if it comes to the earth it's from four minutes after fu before future so the past present future it's jumbled all together and also there are times that of past is before the future so it's all mixed up so time it starts from the past to the present and the future it, it's not a sequel thing but if uh, it's a jumble so I define it like this there is no such thing as time so that's why when you ask me what is time I couldn't answer because it doesn't exist now if we are perceiving time what is time uh, that we perceive we don't perceive but we perceive events what does this mean uh, when we talk about history we talk about the prehistory which is before the history existed so when we talk about pre-existence of the uh, history when we say the um, history of the Korean Peninsula is 5,000 years old but that's because of the dam that were artifacts were found 5,000 years ago so we say we have 5,000 years of history so that the artifact is something that we recognize how about if an artifact was found 5,500 years ago then we, there will be a trace of the event so we will have more 500 years more so if there's a, a trace of an event there is time and if there's no event there's no time so when we talk about our uh, the race um, trace of the uh, kings if there was no changes in the past then uh, there is no um, past as, as well so I could define time as events the same goes for the terms of spirit or soul 
since we have the beginning and the end, we could define it as time. But if it doesn't have any um, beginning and the end, we could go into the eternal time. So when we manage the time, actually we cannot manage the time because there is nothing about time. So here, what we need to manage is the time, uh, event, sorry. So from now on, let's talk about that we are planning the time. Here, actually the thing that we need to plan is the event. What time? Whom I meet? At which? And from which? From where we will move? So all of these is a planning the event itself. In order to manage the time properly, we need to manage the events well. And then that event could be bad or good. When there are only bad, ha bad events, we could be a bad person. And when there are only good events, we could be a good person in my life. So planning is all about what kind of event will be chosen by me. There is a book about this time planning. It says that there are some urgent events, but not important. Not important. There is an event that is not important and not um, emergent, and there is an event that is important but not emergent. So he categorized the event into four different categories, and all of us are really good at managing the important and emergent things. For example, when your child leg is broken, it is really urgent and it is really important, so we are really good at managing this kind of event. But we are failing to manage the event which is not important but um, urgent. So normally we know that we manage a lot of events, but we couldn't remember it because it was not that much important. But and this part is the mostly frequent, the the most frequent happening one. For example, uh, watching a soap opera, watching series. Actually, this not is not that much important and not that much urgent. But we put a lot of time in managing these kind of events. It is not important. It is not urgent. Uh, the, normally, these events are not important, so we cannot really remember what happened a year ago. And here, the event that is not urgent but important, we need to manage this event well and properly. These are, for example, writing down our life scenario. Of course, when we skip it to today, it is it, there is uh, it is not a matter, but it is still really important. And for example, we uh, loving other people, loving others. It is also really important, but it is not that much urgent. So we tend to postpone this kind of event. When you are not in a good relationship with your family members, you don't really try to make a consensus with your family members, so um, the relationship got worse and worse. So these events are not that much um, urgent, but still really important, and you, we need to really good at managing this kind of events. Let's imagine that we became we become rich, we become successful with the enemy. These are really important. It is these are only these are all really important, but we sometimes don't think that it is really urgent. So we postpone and we delay this kind of event. So uh, we only meet a few number of people every day. Don't think that when you are at a center, uh, you are working. Even though you are in a in a in a center, it does not mean that you are working hard. If, even though you're in a center, sometimes you don't sell a product, you don't introduce this, this business to other people. And normally, you only talk negative in the centers, and you only do some hassles, and you spend a whole day. But you didn't do any important task at the center. So what is important is to understand what is the most important thing, and you need to put it at the most important um, priority. And you need to set the priority of these events. We need to leave, love, and contribute, and these are these all are really important. Contributing, contribution, actually, is really important. You need to, you don't need to uh, underestimate it. You don't need to postpone managing the events, although it is not that much urgent, but still, it is really important. So that's why we start. We need to start working on that. First of all, we need to choose what kind of event will be happening. 
you need you don't need to miss every single important task and you need to put the priority of all of the tasks and then all of the not important things will be naturally settled please remember this there are two different concepts first of all you need to put the priority on the important events although it is not that much urgent you need to put the most priority onto this important things in order to be successful you need to list down to that today you need to have a list of 50 people and then you need to always hold the, the list of 250 people and at least to 20 people you need to call and at least five people you need to meet and you need to sell a product every day and these are the very important tasks and you need to cherish this kind of important events although it doesn't affect your daily living um, if you don't sell the sell a product uh, you need to stick to it and you need to do all of your all the best to settle that important task you need to understand that that's the most important thing in your life because if you start to delay this kind of event it will be a uh, snowballed so time managing time is about selecting well and we need to put the priority first of all you need to prior prioritize the important event first and then secondly uh, time could be compressed so you could process your time we call this time engineering our life is comprised comprised of the time so we need to really be really good at engineering our time if we are good at it we could manage our life and time and we might be really good at controlling the time that we have please understand that if we don't have the great concept of the time and if we fail to managing our life our life will go failure you, do you like your life or not? Are you satisfied with it or not? Sometimes you are confused and you want to know how to control your life and but you don't know how to do that because you don't understand the concept of the life and concept of uh, managing the time. Everyone got lost. So once you perceive the concept of the time, you could successfully control the time and manage your life. You could control the key of your life so I mean that selecting time is really important I I also mentioned that time is all about events so we could choose important event at first we could prioritize prioritize the important events but there are not important things for example but if you like um, a stray if you keep astray to that kind of hassles and on not important things you will miss out the most important thing so you need to be really good at selecting the important things and you need to stick to the important things. in order to do that you need to write down the list and then you need to compress your time for example you need to write down the list of 250 people and you need to let them know first you need to let them know that I'm doing this kind of business I am doing shampoo business toothpaste um, business and you need to promote that you are doing this business to other people this is the very first concept and step and let's say that you are doing this for 250 people someone is doing this for three months but but others are doing this only in within 30 days every day for 10 people they could call and they could finish it within 30 days and someone could do it within 10 days if they call to 25 people a day they could finish it within five within 10 days you could say that you know I am selling this kind of product and the price is really um, affordable but the quality is really good and as such you could call to 250 people every day so you could manage your time by doing this someone could do it for 90 days but someone could compress this time into 30 30 days and someone could do it within 10 days so we could say this the time is compressed but actually what we compress is the events when we condense the time we also compress the time at the same time 
So I, I will also say that time equals event. So let's compress this event once again. If you don't compress the time and leave them there, you would be losing down. And then you could just do it whatever you want, whenever you want. If it, if you could do it only on a rainy days, on a sunny days. Like it, if you do it just by yourself and what you want, nothing, nothing might happen. So it will just, uh, the time will just go. Nothing will happen. So in order to make something happen, we need to compress the, uh, compress the event first. In order to make something happen, first of all, you need to compress the time and the event first. So selecting is all about this. You need to set the priorities and you need to select the important things and then you need to compress uh, the time and event and then it will uh, follow, it will make the result. In the concept of the con in the concept of the time, there is also the concept of transcendence. We could go to the past, we could go to the future, but we can uh, we could sometimes transcend the time because we could recall the past and we could also expect the future. So we are not really binded by the time. We could sometimes uh, transcend the time. If we think about the future, we can move to the fu uh, future as much as possible. But if you don't think about the future, nothing will happen. If you don't draw the picture of your future in two years or three years, nothing will happen. You need to dream yourself in two to three years, and you need to vividly dream yourself in the future. And but no, but a lot of you not doing this. You're just living in the present. You're just like stuck into in stuck in your present, and you don't really expect and predict your future. Although you feel really bad today, you need to paint a brighter picture for your future, and you need to transcend the time, and you need to move to the future. This is all about transcending the time. So I could I could call it time pass over. And next concept, next concept is about duplication. We need to duplicate the, duplicate the time. Let me talk about time duplication. If you compress the time, and the event could uh, be compressed also like this, and your partner could also do that. You could, your partner could also duplicate it. When you want your partner to duplicate it, the original copy should be right, should be correct. Some of you might think that. I want my partner to just like me, and in that way you could be successful. But if you think that, oh, I don't want my partner to do like me, in that case you won't be successful. Because in order to duplicate, the original copy should be all right. We have the ability to transcend the time. I think that is, this is a really amazing ability, but we never, we are not trying to use this ability. And we tend to be stuck in the present, and nothing will happen when you stick to this kind of concept. In order to make some change, you need to move to the future, and you need to draw your draw yourself a, f a future and so you need to draw your, draw the paint of your yourself in 10 years or 15 years and you need to leave the future in my brain in my mind i draw the future of my company i already did it i already drew the picture of my company of the future i would like to make the sales over 10 billion 100 billion and 1 trillion what happened? I, uh, how come I could dominate the global market and how could I could dominate and lead the global distribution distribution industry? And from now on, it will the world will be dominated by non-office businesses. And I am drawing the picture of this kind of future. These are the future, but I try to vividly draw the picture of the future in my mind by transcending the time because we got the ability. And by using that ability, we could leave the eternal life and we could imagine the future. Any, every, everyone, once again, we've got this ability to transcend the time, but most of you are just living the present. You're just stuck in the present today. You're just living today. Although you are irritated by your yourself today, but next year you will be better. And in two years, you will be much better. 
and you will be overwhelmed by joys in five and ten years you not only you but also all of the people around you will be filled with joys you need to draw the picture of yourself vividly once again we need to duplicate the time by exerting our efforts to transcend the time and ability and then we need to select the important event in my life for example being successful being healthy living longer contributing to others this kind of important event need, need, need to be chose, chosen and, but you know there are a lot of hassles and unimportant things in your mind for example angers sorrows and agonies and if you are minds are occupied this kind of unnecessary things your energies will be consumed up but you don't you shouldn't do that sometimes this kind of bad feelings go longer if you are angry about it and if you are mad at it stop doing that and just just follow the direction of the balanced life please relocate your energy into more important things don't worry about it because we all are designed to be successful by Creator God. All of us will be very successful and better off. Some of my, some say that. How come you could de design all the things in your mind? And some, some people also say that. I think you, you, you know everything. But still, I have a lot of things that I don't know. But I try to spend my energy into the important things, and I put my priority in making all of the enemy members wealthy and better off. And I try to live a contributable life, and these are the important things in my life because we got the ability to be successful, and that ability will make all of us successful in the future. We need to utilize this time, and you need to utilize this concept in your future. I believe that uh, you will be be successful in the future and your success will must follow.